Hello everyone and welcome to Accordion Utopia Workshop. My name is Sergei Semenov and in this video I'd like to talk about this bayan. This is uh, a concert bayan, was made in Soviet Union on Tula factory back in 50s, uh, 1950s. So this instrument has no switches, it has two voices in the right hand and uh, Stradella standard bass on the left side. Although the range here is extended, instead of 120 buttons, there is 150 buttons. So 120 buttons is when you have six rows, six columns with, uh, no, uh, yeah, six vertical columns and 20 diagonal rows. If you want. Here it has 25 times six, that's 150, plus one button for uh, squeezing without making, uh, producing any notes. So on the left, on the right side, it starts from E, and then it goes five octaves higher, that will be the E five octaves higher, and it goes a little higher than the... The last note has very, like, below average response, I would say. The last octave has about average response. Then here it's a very good response, and starting from there, it's like, I would say, um, this is above average, then very good, and very, very good response here. So the response on this instrument, except the very high notes, is very good, to excellent to very good. The response on the left side is, is pretty much everywhere is uh, very, very good. So on the scale 1 to 5, I would rate as this has been 5, this is like 4, and there is 3, and maybe a few notes would have like 2 out of 5. 5 means the best, 1 means uh, either no response or poor response, you have to fight with instrument, 2 means below average. You still have to fight. Like under its own weight, it's not playing. Not. You play it not here, here, but the, the highest note you, you you need to push, and a couple more notes, almost like that. Okay, but the left side has really nice. Uh, especially, I like the E note on this instrument in the bass. So there is another video where a uh, professional player played this instrument and this instrument, like I said, has it's easy to play. So what I like about this instrument and what I consider is not perfect in the instrument. So first of all, the, the appearance you can see, it's, it doesn't look like new, it has scratches, paint chip, chipping off and it's, there is this corner missing, that's the only uh, place where it's missing. Um, then. Um, it is on the heavier side, but it's not as heavy as professional instruments. Uh, like I said, the response here is not very nice. Some people like uh, large travel and uh, some people prefer short travel. This is medium to large travel. This is not a short travel, it's a little deeper than, than medium. Like medium, I would say, maybe a little over medium. Uh, this this is pretty standard. This is not large travel for those buttons. Then uh, uh, what I like about it, the height. So for those of you who tend to lean forward as you practice, this bayan will prevent you from doing that because you you're gonna quickly uh, hit the top surface with your chin like that. So it reminds you to keep your back straight, which is nice. That that's one thing I really like about this bayan. 
my other bayans are not as tall. So even professional Jupiter bayan is not as tall as this one. This is taller than Jupiter if you put them side by side. Okay. Um, I like the mellow sound. I am not a big fan of uh, like really bright, harsh sounds. I like prefer mellow, and this has mellow sound. I like deep and like sweet bass. Well, everybody likes the even response. So like I said, it's even up to about maybe here and then it's not as even or not as nice in the high notes. The range is pretty large here, same uh, here. Now I will go over what I work I did on the instrument. So first is, I guess I, uh, I will talk about the screws. So I put screws here just like on a professional instrument rather than pins that you need to pull out. And those pins, they stick it out and they can catch you close. So here I made it so it's very, it's flush with the instrument on the back side. So it won't catch your clothes on the back side. Um, the next thing is I moved the location of the where straps are attached. And these are different than new strap holders. So they are spread apart. So that makes the instrument more stable when you have straps going over your shoulders and it's not in one location. So it won't rotate like this. It, it's, it's more stable. Same thing on the bottom side. It was attached here, one place. And I put it on the back side. Again, it's spread apart. And the left strap. So I changed, the, this is Italian uh, style uh, holder for the left strap and you can adjust it, this wheel. And on the bottom, again, it was attached here on the outside. I put it inside so that you can put the instrument on the flat surface and it sit nice. It's not rocking like, I mean, this table is rocking a little bit, but not the instrument on the table. But if you look at some other old instruments where this goes over the instrument, you can't do that. You put it and it's rocking. Also, I put the new feet. So those feet are, these feet are uh, tall enough so the instrument can sit like this. Again, it's not rocking. It sits pretty stable. And I'll, I made a new uh, cover, left cover, which I'm gonna take off and talk about. Oops. So, this is the original cover. And the problem with this cover was that it sit a little bit recessed inside. So when you play, you have constantly pressure against your forearm and here on your hand. And over time, it, it really hurt. So what I did, uh, and also that was flexing. So what I did, I made a new cover out of fiberglass with carbon fibers. So it's, it's a really strong one. It's also a little thicker, but I put a lot of holes to make it lighter and added this uh, silver looking like screen on the inside. And I also, if you notice, uh, the surface is not really a flat surface. So it's flat in the middle, but as you're approaching the edges, it curves a little bit. So those curves are to match the curves uh, to transition from, gotta cut this one. Uh, to transition from this surface to the edge. In fact, there was a frame, metal frame here, just like on the other side, mostly for decoration and protecting the edge. I, I didn't have all the pieces for it, so I just painted it black, this edge, so it matches nicely. Unfortunately, this carbon fiber is not as black as the instrument itself, so you can see the color change. When you buy that carbon fiber sheet, it comes like this, it does look dark, but once you start working on it, it, that surface, uh, it, it's not, it's not going to look as dark. It, it becomes gray. Okay, so I'm trying to make video short so I can upload it on YouTube. And oh, I, I didn't mention, but you saw the mechanics here. So I wasn't play. I was practicing on it for a few months. But mostly I'm using the wrench in the middle. So I know some of those at the top and at the bottom, they were not used often enough. So they don't, some of them wouldn't return as quick. I can see that slight delay. And if that happens, it's very, like if say it gets stuck or you want a faster return. First of all, it's better to play it 
more you play the better it will the mechanic will work but if it gets stuck you can unscrew this roll open this remove that cover i mean the left plate and just see what's there it's it's always pretty straightforward what you need to do you push a little more further and you can see where it's pushing coming out you just push it back and it will get in place like i said i don't think you'll have any problems in this range in the middle but if you would like if you start playing in the upper or very low and then you might see that okay i think that's what i wanted to say again in to me what i value about this instrument the height helps me to, to keep my posture as i'm playing very mellow nice rich sound creamy sound i think that's a good not, not a good word to describe it or some people like you say jazzy maybe i don't know <laughs> but usually on this instruments people play like folk tunes anyway the type of sound is one nice thing the height which keeps helps the posture is another thing uh, uh, very good to excellent response on the left side and the right side uh, changes from excellent to just the average on the very top or below average on a couple of notes what else um, the way it handles it, it, I think it's nice it's not it's not too heavy it's not light instrument so if you you can play standing but it's not that light so after after some time you, you will definitely feel tired <laughs> that's the most important thing i also replaced the seals between the bellows and left and right side maybe i did some other things i just don't remember everything but uh that certainly there, there is a lot more can be done to the instrument and i could do it as an option if you're interested to purchase it um, but uh, again the more work you put in the higher the cost will be it, it as a uh, instrument for just practicing or even performing in small for a small group of people i think this is an excellent instrument okay thank you very much for watching this video and wish you a peaceful day bye